you know, then I have my 22 sidearm, and then, um, then, I got, then I got the Beretta. This trip was to accept Norman Daniels into the group. It was supposed to be his first assassination, and he was just to be Todd Garden's helper. They quickly loaded up with uh, numerous firearms, ammunition, walkie-talkies, disguises, different clothes, and drove straight to Gresham, Oregon. On the way there, Todd makes contact with another company operative named Lynn, who planned to join them. Norman Daniels told us that Lynn worked for the company and basically was a person that would provide his logistics. They set up in a hotel near Dean's house and prepare for their mission. After they did their initial surveillance, they drove back to a Hampton Inn. And Lynn, at that time, got cold feet. Todd convinced her that uh, it's too late and it had to be carried out and that he was going to go through with it. The next day, Todd Garden practiced firing his sniper gun out the window of the Hampton Inn, trying to hit a paper cup out in the parking lot. Garden wants to know how well his rifle with a silencer works. So he's sitting in this motel room, shooting out at the street at a paper cup. So he has Norman go out there with a walkie-talkie, and he's telling um, Garden where the, where the shots are hitting. Norman explains to investigators that once their training was complete, Todd led him and Dale to their first hit. Todd, Garton, Norman Daniels, and Dale Gordon all went to Dean Noyes' residence in Gresham, Oregon. Todd Garton had a key to the residence. They parked their Jeep at a strip club. They go walking down the street, and they're wearing costumes that that Garton's picked out. Th these guys kind of look like a cross between the Blues Brothers and Ninja Warriors. They're going down the suburban street with guns of all sorts. They're, they're carrying about 200 rounds of ammunition. Todd Garton went up to the front door with the key. Norman Daniels' role was to stay out near the driveway, hide behind a tree, and provide cover fire with the Tech 9 in the event that law enforcement uh, was called and arrived at the location. His role was to kill the police. Todd is going up to the door with a key to open it, and the door won't open. And Todd says, mission scrubbed, mission scrubbed, and they go hauling out of there. So these guys are basically running down the street with a bunch of weapons. And Norman is just shaking his head, thinking, this is totally bizarre. I can't take this. Both of them thought it was odd the way that Todd Garton had panicked. He wasn't calm and cool like they would expect of someone who had um, been committing assassinations. Todd Garton could have gotten out of the house if he wanted 